Chapter 11 Cape of Good Hope to England April 1771 Tuesday, 16th At two o'clock in the p.m. saw a large ship behind the island, under French colors, standing into Table Bay, at three weight with a light breeze at southeast, and put to sea, at four departed this life mister. Robert Molyneux Master, a young man of good parts, but had unfortunately given himself up to extravagancy and intemperance, which brought on disorders that put a period to his life. At six we had the Table Mountain and the Penguin Island in one bearing south-southeast, distant from the latter about four or five leagues, had it calm most part of the night. In the morning a light breeze sprung up southerly, with which we steered northwest, at noon we were by observation in latitude 33 degrees 30 minutes south. The Table Mountain bore south 54 degrees east, distant 14 leagues. N.B. The Table Mountain lies directly over the Cape Town, from which last I take my departure, it lies in the latitude of 33 degrees 56 minutes south, and longitude 341 degrees 37 minutes west from Greenwich. Wednesday, 17th. Fresh breezes and fair weather, with a swell from the southwest. Wind southerly, course north 50 degrees west, distance 118 miles, latitude 32 degrees 14 minutes south, longitude 344 degrees 8 minutes west. Thursday, 18th. Gentle breezes and clear weather. Swell as before. Wind ditto, course northwest, distance 85 miles, latitude 31 degrees 14 minutes south, longitude 345 degrees 19 minutes west. Friday, 19th, little wind and sometimes calm. Swell from the southward. Wind southeast to northwest, course north 50 degrees west, distance 16 miles, latitude 31 degrees 14 minutes south, longitude 345 degrees 33 minutes west. Saturday, 20th, gentle breezes and clear weather. Wind westerly. Latitude 29 degrees 40 minutes south, longitude 346 degrees 10 minutes west. Sunday, 21st. A moderate trade wind and pleasant weather. Wind southerly, course north 54 degrees west, distance 100 miles. Latitude 28 degrees 43 minutes south, longitude 347 degrees 42 minutes west. Monday, 22nd. A fresh trade, and pleasant weather. Exercise the people at small arms. Observations for longitude with the sun and moon agree with the log. Wind southeast, course north 50 degrees west, distance 118 miles, latitude 27 degrees 27 minutes south, longitude 349 degrees 24 minutes west. Tuesday, 23rd, gentle breezes, and clear weather. Found the variation in the evening, by the amplitude, to be 17 degrees 40 minutes west, and by azimuth in the morning 18 degrees 37 minutes. Employed repairing boats and sails. Exorcist great guns and small arms. Wind southeast by south to west southwest, course north 46 degrees west, distance 98 miles, latitude 26 degrees 19 minutes south, longitude 350 degrees 42 minutes west. Wednesday, 24th, ditto weather. Found the variation to be 17 degrees 30 minutes west. Employed as yesterday. Wind west, west northwest, course north 20 degrees west, distance 78 miles, latitude 25 degrees 6 minutes south, longitude 351 degrees 16 minutes west. Thursday, 25th. First part, moderate and clear, middle, squally, with rain, latter, fresh gales and cloudy. Employed as above. Wind northwest, southwest, course north 20 foot west, distance 105 miles. Latitude 23 degrees 28 minutes south, longitude 351 degrees 52 minutes west. Friday, 26th, fresh gales, and a large swell from the southward. Wind south-southwest, southeast by south, course north 50 degrees west, distance 168 miles. 
latitude 21 degrees 40 minutes south, longitude 354 degrees 12 minutes west. Saturday, 27th, fresh gales and cloudy. Employed repairing sails. Wind southeast one half south, course north 55 degrees west, distance 168 miles. Latitude 20 degrees 4 minutes south, longitude 356 degrees 40 minutes west. Sunday, 28th, ditto weather. Variation per azimuth 14 degrees west. Wind southeast, course north 56 degrees 30 minutes west, distance 152 miles. Latitude 18 degrees 41 minutes south, longitude 358 degrees 54 minutes west. Monday, 29th, ditto gales. Variation 13 degrees 53 minutes west. In the a.m. crossed the line of our first meridian, viz. That of Greenwich, having now circumnavigated the globe in a west direction. Wind southeast, course north 53 degrees west, distance 136 miles, latitude 17 degrees 19 minutes south, longitude 0 degrees 50 minutes west. Tuesday, 30th. Fresh gales and pleasant weather. Exercise the people at great guns and small arms. Wind southeast, course north 58 degrees west south, distance 126 miles, latitude 16 degrees 11 minutes south, longitude 2 degrees 42 minutes west. May 1771. At St. Helena. Wednesday, May 1st, fresh trade and pleasant weather. At 6 a.m. saw the island of St. Helena bearing west, distant 8 or 9 leagues. At noon anchored in the road, before James's fort, in 24 fathoms water. Found riding here His Majesty's ship Portland and Swallow, this was not the same Swallow that preceded Cook in circumnavigation. She had been broken up. Sloop, and 12 sail of Indiaman. At our first seeing the fleet in this road we took it for granted that it was a war but in this we were soon agreeably deceived. The Europa India man anchored here a little before us. She sailed from the Cape two days after us, and brings an account the French ship we saw standing into Table Bay was a French man of war, of sixty-four guns, bound to India, and that there were two more on their passage. Wind southeast. At noon at anchor in St. Helena Road. Thursday, 2nd. Clear, pleasant weather. In the p.m. moored with the kedge anchor, and in the a.m. received some few officers' stores from the Portland. Wind ditto. At noon at anchor in St. Helena Road. Friday, 3rd, clear, pleasant weather. Employed repairing sails, overhauling the rigging, etc. Wind southeast. At noon at anchor in St. Helena Road. Saturday, 4th, little wind and pleasant weather. At 6 a.m. The Portland made the signal to unmoor, and at noon to weigh, at which time the ships began to get under sail. Wind ditto. At noon at anchor in St. Helena Road. Sunday, 5th, gentle breezes and clear weather. At 1 p.m. Wait, and stood out of the road in company with the Portland and 12 sail of India men. At 6 o'clock James Fort, St. Helena, or east one half south, distant three leagues. In the a.m. found the variation to be 13 degrees 10 minutes west. Wind east by south, course north 50 degrees 30 minutes west, distant 71 miles, latitude 15 degrees 5 minutes south, longitude 6 degrees 46 minutes west. Monday, 6th, moderate breezes and cloudy weather. Sailing in company with the fleet. Wind east southeast, Course north 47 and a half degrees west, distance 122 miles, latitude 13 degrees 42 minutes south, longitude 8 degrees 27 minutes west. Tuesday, 7th, ditto weather. In the a.m. found the variation to be 12 degrees 5 minutes west. Exercise the people at great guns and small arms. Wind southeast, course north 46 degrees west, distance 137 miles, latitude 12 degrees 5 minutes south, longitude 10 degrees 9 minutes west. Wednesday, 8th. A steady breeze and pleasant weather. 
all the fleet in company. Wind southeast, course north 46 degrees 45 minutes west, distance 126 miles, latitude 10 degrees 39 minutes south, longitude 11 degrees 42 minutes west. Thursday, 9th, ditto weather. In the evening found the variation to be 11 degrees 42 minutes west. Wind southeast by south, course northwest, distance 118 miles, latitude 9 degrees 16 minutes, longitude 13 degrees 17 minutes west. Friday, 10th. At 6 in the a.m. Saw the island of Ascention bearing north-northwest, distant 7 leagues. Made the signal to speak with the Portland, and soon after Captain Elliot himself came on board, to whom I delivered a letter for the Admiralty, and a box containing the ship's common log books, and some of the officers' journals, etc. I did this because it seemed probable that the Portland would get home before us, as we sail much heavier than any of the fleet. The Portland and the India fleet got home three days before the endeavor. At noon the island of Ascention bore east by south, distant four or five leagues. By our observations it lies in the latitude of 7 degrees 54 minutes south, and longitude of 14 degrees 18 minutes west. A northwest by north course by compass, or northwest a little westerly by the globe from St. Helena, will bring you directly to this island. Wind ditto, course northwest, distance 120 miles. Latitude 7 degrees 51 minutes south, longitude 14 degrees 32 minutes west. Friday, 11th. A steady trade wind and pleasant weather. At one half past six p.m. the island of Ascention bore southeast three quarters east, distant eleven or twelve leagues. Sailing in company with the fleet. Wind ditto, course north forty-two degrees west, distance one hundred and seventeen miles, latitude six degrees twenty-four minutes south, longitude fifteen degrees fifty-one minutes west. Saturday, twelfth. First and middle parts a steady breeze, and fair the latter. Light squalls, with rain. Wind southeast by south to southeast by east, course north 31 degrees 15 minutes west, distance 123 miles, latitude 4 degrees 38 minutes south, longitude 16 degrees 54 minutes west. Sunday, 13th. Gentle breezes and clear weather, hot and sultry. Sailing in company with the fleet. Variation 10 degrees west. Wind southeast by south, course north 32 and a half degrees west, distance 119 miles. Latitude 2 degrees 58 minutes south, longitude 17 degrees 58 minutes west. Monday, 14th, ditto weather. Wind southeast by south, course north 32 and a half degrees west, distance 109 miles. Latitude 1 degree 26 minutes south, longitude 18 degrees 57 minutes west. Tuesday, 15th, little wind and hot, sultry weather. In the p.m. observed, merely for the sake of observing, an eclipse of the sun. In the a.m. Brought another foretopsail to the yard, the old one being quite wore out. Wind east-southeast, course north 32 and a half degrees west, distance 85 miles, Latitude 0 degrees 14 minutes south, longitude 19 degrees 43 minutes west. Wednesday, 16th. Light breezes and fair weather. Variation 9 degrees 30 minutes west. Wind southeast by south, course north 31 degrees west, distance 71 miles, latitude 0 degrees 47 minutes north, longitude 20 degrees 20 minutes west. Thursday, 17th. Ditto weather. Sailing in company with the fleet. Wind ditto, course north 31 degrees west, distance 61 miles, latitude 1 degree 39 minutes north, longitude 20 degrees 50 minutes west. Saturday, 18th. First part ditto weather. Remainder squally, with thunder and rain. The observed latitude is 14 miles to the northward of the log. Sailing in company with the fleet. Wind south southeast to east, course north 20 degrees west, distance 86 miles. 
Latitude 3 degrees 0 minutes north, longitude 21 degrees 22 minutes west. Sunday, 19th, cloudy, unsettled weather, with some rain. In the AM found the variation by the amplitude and azimuth 7 degrees 40 minutes west. Hoisted a boat out, and sent on board the Houghton for the surgeon, Mr. Carret, in order to look at Mr. Hicks, who is so far gone in a consumption that his life is despaired of. Observation at noon 16 miles to the northward of the log. Wind southeast to south by east, course north 20 degrees west, distance 98 miles, latitude 4 degrees 32 minutes north, longitude 21 degrees 58 minutes west. With India Fleet. Homeward bound. Monday, 20th. Dark, cloudy, unsettled weather, with rain. At noon the observed latitude was 27 miles to the northward of the log. Sailing in company with the fleet. Wind variable between the south and east, course north 19 degrees west, distance 70 miles. Latitude 5 degrees 38 minutes north, longitude 22 degrees 21 minutes west. Tuesday, 21st, little wind, with some heavy showers of rain. At 2 p.m. Had some observations of the sun and moon, which gave the longitude 24 degrees 50 minutes west, 2 degrees 28 minutes west of account. In the morning it was calm, and the ships, being near one another, several of them had their boats out to tow. We observed the Portland to carry out a long warp. I, being desirous to see the machine they made use of, we hoisted out a boat, and Mr. Banks, Dr. Salander, and myself went on board her, where we was showed it. It was made of canvas, in every respect like an umbrella, its circumference, if extended to a circle, was twenty-four feet, though this was a small one of the sort, yet Captain Elliot told me that it would hold as much as one hundred and fifty men could haul. I was so well satisfied of the utility of this machine that I would not have delayed a moment in having one made had not our forge been rendered useless by the loss of some of its parts. Winds variable, course north 31 degrees west. Distance 35 miles, latitude 6 degrees 8 minutes north, longitude 25 degrees 8 minutes west. Wednesday, 22nd. Variable, unsettled weather, with rain. About 9 o'clock in the a.m. the Portland shortened sail for the sternmost ships to come up. As we imagined, this gave us an opportunity to get ahead of the fleet, after which we made such sail as was necessary to keep in company. Wind variable, course north-northwest three-quarters west, distance 58 miles. Latitude 6 degrees 58 minutes north, longitude 25 degrees 38 minutes west. Thursday, 23rd, little wind from the eastward, with frequent showers of rain, and hazy weather. The fleet astern of us all this day. At noon we short Ned sail for them to come up, the headmost being about two leagues off. Wind east to northeast, course north 25 degrees west, distance 56 miles, latitude 7 degrees 49 minutes north, longitude 26 degrees 2 minutes west. Friday, 24th. First part moderate breezes, and hazy, with rain, the latter, fresh breezes and fair. At 3 p.m., finding the fleet to come fast up with us, we made all the sail we could. Soon after it became hazy, and we lost sight of them until near 6, when it cleared up a little, and we saw three sail abreast of us, bearing east about two or three miles distance. By this we saw that they not only kept a better wind, but outsailed us upon a wind. It became again hazy, and we lost sight of them, and notwithstanding we kept close upon a wind all night, with as much sail out as we could bear, there was not one sail in sight in the morning. Wind northeast and north northeast. Course north 54 degrees west, distance 92 miles, latitude 8 degrees 42 minutes north, 27 degrees 18 minutes west. Saturday, 25th, moderate trade wind and cloudy weather. Wind north northeast, course north 50 degrees 15 minutes west. Distance 92 miles, latitude 9 degrees 41 minutes north, longitude 28 degrees 30 minutes west. Sunday, 26th. A steady trade in cloudy weather. About 1 o'clock p.m. 
departed this life Lieutenant Hicks, and in the evening his body was committed to the sea with the usual ceremonies. He died of a consumption which he was not free from when we sailed from England, so that it may be truly said that he hath been dying ever since, though he held out tolerable well until we got to Batavia. Wind northeast by north. Course north 46 degrees west, distance 92 miles, latitude 20 degrees 47 minutes north, longitude 29 degrees 35 minutes west. Monday, 27th. A steady, fresh trade and cloudy weather. This day I gave Mr. Charles Clerk an order to act as lieutenant in the room of Mr. Hicks, deceased, he being a young man extremely well qualified for that station. Wind northeast, course north 39 degrees west, distance 103 miles. Latitude 12 degrees 7 minutes north, longitude 30 degrees 40 minutes west. Tuesday, 28th. A steady trade and fair weather. Wind northeasterly, course north 40 degrees west, distance 108 miles. Latitude 13 degrees 30 minutes north, longitude 31 degrees 51 minutes west. Wednesday, 29th, fresh gales and hazy. Wind ditto, course north 31 and a half degrees west, distance 128 miles. Latitude 15 degrees 19 minutes north, longitude 33 degrees 2 minutes west. Thursday, 30th, ditto gales and cloudy. Fixed a new main topmast backstay, the old one having broke several times. Wind ditto, course north 31 degrees 15 minutes west. Distance 124 miles, latitude 17 degrees 5 minutes north, longitude 34 degrees 9 minutes west. Friday, 31st, strong gales and cloudy in the evening. Got down top gallant yards, and in the morning found the variation 5 degrees 9 minutes west. Wind northeast and northeast by east, course north 39 and a half degrees west, distance 136 miles, latitude 18 degrees 50 minutes north, longitude 35 degrees 40 minutes west. June 1771. Saturday, June 1st, fresh trade, and cloudy weather. In the a.m. Got up top gallant yards. Wind northeast, course north 35 degrees west, distance 100 miles, latitude 20 degrees 12 minutes north, longitude 36 degrees 41 minutes west. Sunday, 2nd. Moderate gales and clear weather. Variation 5 degrees 4 minutes west. Wind northeast to north northeast, course north 49 degrees west, distance 104 miles, latitude 21 degrees 20 minutes north, longitude 38 degrees 5 minutes west. Monday, 3rd. A gentle trade wind, and pleasant weather. Wind northeast, course north 44 degrees west, distance 85 miles, latitude 22 degrees 21 minutes north, longitude 39 degrees 9 minutes west. Tuesday, 4th, ditto weather. In the a.m. Found the variation to be 4 degrees 30 minutes west. Wind northeast, course north 34 degrees west, distance 91 miles, latitude 23 degrees 40 north, longitude 40 degrees 4 minutes west. Wednesday, 5th. Gentle breezes, with some showers of small rain. Wind ditto, course north 52 degrees west, distance 83 miles, latitude 24 degrees 31 minutes north, longitude 41 degrees 11 minutes west. Thursday, 6th, ditto weather. In the a.m. Found the variation by the mean of the amplitude and azimuth to be 5 degrees 34 minutes west, and by observation of the sun and moon found the ship in longitude 43 degrees 18 minutes west of Greenwich. 2 degrees 51 minutes west of the log since the last observations. This I judge to be owing to a westerly current. Wind east northeast to east, course north three quarters west, distance 90 miles, Latitude 26 degrees 1 minute north, longitude, per observation sun and moon, 43 degrees 18 minutes west. Friday, 7th. Moderate breezes, and cloudy. A.M., variation per mean of 20 azimuths 5 degrees 20 minutes west. 
Wind east northeast, course north 15 degrees west, distance 84 miles, latitude 27 degrees 22 minutes north, longitude 43 degrees 42 minutes west. Saturday, 8, moderate breezes and pleasant weather. In the AM found the variation to be 5 degrees 24 minutes west. By the observation of the sun and moon the longitude of the ship at noon was 43 degrees 42 minutes west. Wind easterly. Course north, distance 88 miles, latitude 28 degrees 50 minutes north, longitude 43 degrees 42 minutes west. Sunday, 9th, clear, pleasant weather and a smooth sea. In the AM found the variation to be 7 degrees 33 minutes west. Some tropic birds flying about the ship, we have seen of these birds every day since we passed the tropic. Wind ditto, course north by west one half west, distance 81 miles, latitude 30 degrees 11 minutes north, longitude 44 degrees 9 minutes west. Monday, 10th, little wind and clear weather. Exercise the people at small arms. Wind ditto, course north 30 degrees west, distance 71 miles, latitude 31 degrees 12 minutes north, longitude 44 degrees 50 minutes west. Tuesday, 11th, ditto weather. A smooth sea. Wind northeast by east, course north 18 minutes west, distance 67 miles, latitude 32 degrees 16 north, longitude 45 degrees 14 minutes west. Wednesday, 12th light breezes and clear weather. Variation by the amplitude in the evening 7 degrees 0 minutes west, and by azimuth in the morning 6 degrees 55 minutes west. Exercised great guns and small arms. Wind east by south, course north northeast, distance 48 miles. Latitude 33 degrees 8 minutes north, longitude 44 degrees 53 minutes west. Thursday, 13th, little wind and pleasant weather. Found the variation by the amplitude in the evening to be 8 degrees 23 minutes. In the morning 8 degrees 15 minutes, and by azimuth soon after 8 degrees 14 minutes west. Wind ditto, course north by east one half east, distance 77 miles, latitude 34 degrees 14 minutes north, longitude 44 degrees 25 minutes west. Friday, 14th. A gentle gale, and pleasant weather. In the a.m. saw two turtle laying asleep upon the water. Wind east-southeast, course north 18 degrees east, distance 99 miles, latitude 35 degrees 48 minutes north, longitude 43 degrees 48 minutes west. Saturday, 15th, ditto weather at daylight. In the morning saw a sloop to windward standing to the eastward, which we run out of sight by noon. Wind southeast, Course northeast one half east, distance 119 miles. Latitude 37 degrees 2 minutes north, longitude 41 degrees 54 minutes west. Sunday, 16th. A steady breeze and pleasant weather, with some rain in the night. At daylight in the morning saw a sail ahead, which we came up and spoke with a little after 10 o'clock. She proved a Portuguese ship from Rio de Janeiro, bound to Lisbon. Wind ditto, course northeast one half east, distance 119 miles. Latitude 38 degrees 18 minutes north, longitude 40 degrees 38 minutes west. Monday, 17th, steady, gentle gales and pleasant weather. Variation in the evening 9 degrees west. Wind south southeast, course north 68 degrees east, distance 104 miles. Latitude 38 degrees 57 minutes north, longitude 38 degrees 36 minutes west. Tuesday, 18th, little wind, and clear weather. At 2 p.m. Found the ship to be by observation 1 degree 22 minutes to the westward of account carried on from the last observation, in the evening the variation was 14 degrees 15 minutes west, and in the morning 14 degrees 24 minutes. Wind south. Course north 66 degrees east, distance 82 miles, latitude 39 degrees 52 minutes north, longitude 36 degrees 59 minutes west. Wednesday, 19th, fresh gales and cloudy. 
at 2 p.m. Found by observation the same error in our longitude as yesterday, which I have now corrected. The longitude of this day is that resulting from observation. At 10 a.m. saw a sail ahead, which we soon came up with, and sent a boat on board. She was a schooner from Rhode Island out upon the whale fishery. From her we learnt that all was peace in Europe, and that the America disputes were made up, to confirm this the master said that the coat on his back was made in Old England. Soon after leaving this vessel we spoke another from Boston, and saw a third, all out on the same account. Wind south to southwest, course north 73 degrees east, distance 127 miles. Latitude 40 degrees 9 minutes north, longitude 36 degrees 44 minutes west. Thursday, 20th, fresh gales and cloudy, with some showers of rain. At daylight in the morning saw a sail ahead standing to the east. A swell from the north-northwest. Wind southwest, northwest, north, course north 80 and a half degrees east, distance 121 miles, latitude 40 degrees 29 minutes north, longitude 33 degrees 10 minutes west. Friday, 21st, fresh gales and cloudy. In the p.m. Saw a sail astern standing to the southeast, and at eleven o'clock a.m. saw from the masthead thirteen sail of stout ships, which we took to be the East India Fleet. Wind northerly, course east by north, distance 128 miles. Latitude 40 degrees 33 minutes north, longitude 30 degrees 20 minutes west. Saturday, 22nd. Fresh gales, with squalls, attended with rain. In the evening had fourteen sail in sight, thirteen upon our lee quarter, and a snow upon our lee bow. In the night split both to gallant sails so much that they were obliged to be unbent to repair. In the morning the carpenter reported the main topmast to be sprung in the cap, which we supposed hapned in the p.m. When both the weather backstays broke. Our rigging and sails are now so bad that something or another is giving way every day. At noon had thirteen sail in sight, which we are well assured are the India fleet, and are all now upon our weather quarter. Wind north to northeast, course north 81 degrees east, distance 114 miles, latitude 41 degrees 11 minutes, longitude 27 degrees 52 minutes west. Sunday, 23rd, fresh gales and squally, attended with showers of rain. In the evening all the fleet were to windward of us, and in the morning not one was to be seen. Wind northeast by north to east northeast, course south 69 and a half degrees east, distance 80 miles. Latitude 40 degrees 43 minutes north, longitude 26 degrees 13 minutes west. Monday, 24th. First part, moderate breezes, remainder, squally. At noon tacked. Wind northeast to east southeast, course south 82 degrees east, distance 64 miles. Latitude 40 degrees 34 minutes north, longitude 24 degrees 49 minutes west. Tuesday, 25th. First part and remainder a fresh breeze and cloudy. Wind northeast to north northeast, course south 85 degrees east, distance 58 miles. Latitude 40 degrees 39 minutes north, longitude 23 degrees 33 minutes west. Wednesday, 26th. First part, breezes, remainder, little wind. Wind north by east, course north 86 degrees 45 minutes east, distance 72 miles. Latitude 40 degrees 43 minutes north, longitude 21 degrees 58 minutes west. Thursday, 27th, moderate breezes and cloudy weather. Wind westerly, course north 54 minutes east, distance 54 miles. Latitude 41 degrees 14 minutes north, longitude 20 degrees 59 minutes west. Friday, 28th, fresh breezes, with showers of rain. Wind west to north northwest, course north 38 degrees east, distance 123 miles. Latitude 42 degrees 55 minutes north, longitude 19 degrees 18 minutes west. Saturday, 29th. First part, little wind, remainder, fresh gales and squally, with showers of rain. 
Wind southwest to west and northeast. Course north 59 degrees 15 minutes east, distance 86 miles, latitude 43 degrees 39 minutes north, longitude 17 degrees 36 minutes west. Sunday, 30th, gentle breezes and fair weather. Variation in the evening 18 degrees 30 minutes west, and in the morning 19 degrees 30 minutes. Wind northerly, course north 50 degrees 45 minutes east, distance 87 miles, latitude 44 degrees 34 minutes north, longitude 16 degrees 2 minutes west. July 1771. Monday, July 1st, ditto weather. In the night passed two sails standing to the southwest. Wind ditto, course north 77 degrees 15 minutes east, distance 90 miles. Latitude 44 degrees 54 minutes north, longitude 13 degrees 59 minutes west. Tuesday, 2nd. Little wind and cloudy, hazy weather. One sail in sight to the northeast. Wind ditto, course east, distance 42 miles. Latitude 45 degrees 54 minutes north, longitude 13 degrees 2 minutes west. Wednesday, 3rd, little wind and pleasant weather. At 9 a.m. found the ship by observation of the sun and moon 1 degree 14 minutes east of account. 6 sail in sight. Wind north and northwest, course north 56 degrees east, distance 54 miles, latitude 45 degrees 24 minutes north, longitude 11 degrees 59 minutes west per log, 10 degrees 45 minutes per observation. Thursday, 4th, gentle breezes and cloudy weather. Variation per azimuth and amplitude in the evening 21 degrees 25 and a half west, and in the morning 20 degrees 10 minutes west. Wind west, north, and northeast, course south 85 degrees east, distance 55 miles. Latitude 45 degrees 29 minutes north, longitude 10 degrees 44 minutes west per log, 9 degrees 27 minutes per observation. Friday, 5th, little wind and cloudy. At 1 p.m. spoke a Dutch galliot bound to Riga. At 5 tacked and stood to the westward till 8 a.m., then to the eastward. Wind northeast, course north 50 degrees east, distance 8 miles. Latitude 45 degrees 34 minutes north, longitude 10 degrees 32 minutes west per log, 9 degrees 18 minutes per observation. Saturday, 6th, gentle breezes and cloudy. At 1 p.m. Sent a boat on board a brig belonging to Boston, last from Gibraltar, and bound to Falmouth. Wind north-northeast, course north 72 degrees 30 minutes east, distance 37 miles. Latitude 44 degrees 45 minutes north, longitude 9 degrees 42 minutes west per log, 8 degrees 28 minutes per observation. Sunday, 7th, gentle breezes and clear weather. In the evening found the variation by the amplitude to be 22 degrees 30 minutes west. At 9 a.m. spoke a brig from Liverpool bound to Porto, and some time after another from London, bound to the Grenades. She had been three days from Scilly, and reckoned herself in the longitude of about 10 minutes west, which was about 40 minutes to the westward of what we found ourselves today by observation. We learned from this vessel that no account had been received in England from us, and that wagers were held that we were lost. It seems highly improbable that the letters sent by the Dutch ships from Batavia should not come to hand, as it is now five months since these ships sailed from the Cape of Good Hope. Wind north northeast and northwest, course north 50 degrees east. Distance 49 miles, latitude 46 degrees 16 minutes north, longitude 9 degrees 39 minutes west per account, 9 degrees 29 minutes per observation. Monday, 8th, little wind and hazy weather. Swell from the northward. Wind north-northwest to southwest, course north 46 degrees 45 minutes east, distance 43 miles, latitude 46 degrees 45 minutes north, longitude 8 degrees 54 minutes west. Tuesday, 9th. Fore and middle parts a gentle breeze, and thick, foggy weather, remainder, a fresh breeze and cloudy. A swell from the north-northwest all day. 
Wind southwesterly, course north 21 degrees east, distance 100 miles. Latitude 48 degrees 19 minutes north, longitude 8 degrees 1 minute west per account, 8 degrees 7 minutes per observation. Wednesday, 10th, pleasant breezes and clear weather. At 6 o'clock in the morning sounded, and struck ground in 60 fathoms shells and stones, by which I judged we were the length of Scilly Isles. At noon we saw land from the masthead, bearing north, which we judged to be about the land's end. Soundings 54 fathoms, coarse, gray sand. Wind westerly, course north 44 degrees east, distance 97 miles, latitude 49 degrees 29 minutes north, longitude 6 degrees 18 minutes west. Friday, 11th, steady fresh breezes and clear weather. At 2 in the p. M. saw the lizard land, and at 6 o'clock the lighthouse bore northwest, distant 5 leagues, we being at this time, by my reckoning, in the longitude of 5 degrees 30 minutes west. Soon after two ships under their topsails between us and the land, which we took for men of war. At 7 o'clock in the morning the start point bore northwest by north, distant 3 leagues, and at noon we reckoned ourselves about 5 leagues short of Portland. This forenoon a small cutter-built vessel came under our stern, and inquired after the India fleet, which, they said, they were cruising for and had not seen. Friday, 12th, winds at southwest, a fresh gale, with which we run briskly up channel. At one half past three p.m. passed the bill of Portland, and at seven Peveril Point, at six a.m. passed Beachy Head at the distance of four or five miles, at ten Dungeness, at the distance of two miles, and at noon we were abreast of Dover. Saturday, 13th. At three o'clock in the p.m. anchored in the Downs, and soon after I landed in order to repair to London. Signed, Jams Cook. Postscript. I have made mention in book first, the journal was written in thin books, afterwards bound together in England. The page given here is of this published copy, page 76, of two Spanish ships touching at George Island some months before our arrival there. Upon our arrival at Batavia we were informed that two French ships, commanded by the Sieur de Bougainville, had put in there about two years before us in their way home from the South Seas. We were told many circumstances relating to the two ships, all tending to prove beyond a doubt that they were the same two as were at George's Island as above mentioned, which we then conjectured to be Spaniards. Being lead into that mistake by the Spanish iron, etc. We saw among the natives, and by Tuburatomata pitching upon the colors of that nation for those they wore, in which he might very easily be mistaken, but as to the iron, etc. There might be no mistake, for we were told that either one or both of these ships had put into the river de la Plata, where they disposed of all their European goods brought for that purpose. And purchased others to trade with the islanders in the South Sea. And I think we were told that they also touched upon the Spanish main in the South Sea. As a proof of their having been trading with the Spaniards, Bougainville's ship had on board a great quantity of Spanish dollars at the time she arrived at and left Batavia, some days after our arrival at the Cape of Good Hope. I was told by some French officers, lately come from the island Mauritius, that Orette, the native of George's island which Bougainville brought away with him, was now at the Mauritius. And that they were going to fit out a ship to carry him to his native country, where they intend to make a settlement. One hundred troops for that purpose were to go out in the same ship. This account is confirmed by a French gentleman we have on board, who has very lately been at the Mauritius. This intention was never carried out. As I have no reason to doubt the truth of this account, it leads me to consider the route that this ship must take, which I think can be no other than that of Tasman's as far as the coast of New Zealand. And if she fall in with that coast to the southward of Cape Farewell will very probably put into Admiralty Bay, or Queen Charlotte Sound, as Tasman's track will in some measure point out to her one or the other of these places. I think it is not likely she will venture through the strait, even suppose she discovers it, but will follow Tasman's track to the North Cape, where no doubt she will leave him, and follow the direction of the coast to the southeast. As it will not be out of her way. By which means she will fall in with the most fertile part of that country, 
and as they cannot know anything of the Endeavour's voyage, they will not hesitate a moment to declare themselves the first discoverers. Indeed, I cannot see how they can think otherwise, unless the natives inform them to the contrary, which they may not choose to understand. The French officers before spoke of would not allow that George's island was first discovered by the dolphin, though no doubt Bougainville did, but it was not for the interest of his country, nor perhaps his own, to own it. Thus this island, though of little value, may prove a bone of contention between the two nations, especially if the French make a settlement upon it, and the dolphin's voyage, and this of ours. Published by authority to fix the prior right of discovery beyond disputes. Now I am upon the subject of discoveries, I hope it will not be taken amiss if I give it as my opinion that the most feasible method of making further discoveries in the South Sea is to enter it by the way of New Zealand. First touching and refreshing at the Cape of Good Hope. From thence proceed to the southward of New Holland for Queen Charlotte Sound, where again refresh wood and water, taking care to be ready to leave that place by the latter end of September, or beginning of October at farthest. When you would have the whole summer before you, and after getting through the strait, might, with the prevailing westerly winds, run to the eastward in as high a latitude as you please. And if you meet with no lands would have time enough to get round Cape Horn before the summer was too far spent. But if after meeting with no continent, and you had other objects in view, then haul to the northward, and after visiting some of the islands already discovered. After which proceed with the trade wind back to the westward in search of those before mentioned thus the discoveries in the South Sea would be complete. This program Cook carried out in his second voyage in the most complete manner possible. Index. Admiralty, Letters to, 357, 379. Agullis. Cape, 375. Current, 373. Albatrosses, 46, 47, 128. Anchors, loss of, 276, 327. Anchor stocks eaten by worms, 86. Aru Islands, 336. Ascension Island, 387. Australia, east coast of. Animals, 318. Appearance of, 252, 265, 267, 272, 294, 317. Bedford, Cape, 292. Birds, 318. Booby Island, 314. Botany Bay, 242 to 248. Bustard Bay, 258, 260. Canoes, 243, 321. Capricorn, Cape, 260. Cleveland Bay, 270. Cook's Passage, 301. Cornwall, Cape, 313. Damage to ship, 280, 281, 284. Danger point, 253. Danger, ships in, 253, 254, 262, 263, 267, 274, 278, 279, 303, 328. Dangerous navigation through the reefs, 306 to 310. Description of, 317. Dromedary, Mountain Point, 239. Endeavour Reef, 274, 276. Endeavour River, 279. Sail from, 292. Description of, 293. Endeavour Strait, 313. Description of, 314. Exploration, Remarks on, 305. First Attempts at Landing, 242. Fish, 318. Flattery, Cape, 297. Fruits, 318. Glass Houses, 254. Gloucester, Cape, 269. Grafton, Cape, 273. Grenville, Cape, 307. Hicks Point, 237. Hillsborough, Cape, 
267. Historical Notes, 325. Hope Islands, 277. Houses, 321. Howe, Cape, 238. Jackson Port, 249. Jervis Bay, 241. Kangaroo, 280, 281, 287, 291, 294. Language, 322. Lizard Island, 298. Lookout Point, 298. Magnetic Island, 271. Moreton Bay, 254. Natives, 239, 242, 244, 245, 248, 272, 286, 287, 288, 289, 290, 311, 312. 319, 320, 323. New South Wales, name bestowed, 312. Palmerston, Cape, 267. Pigeon House, 239. Possession Island, 311. Providential Channel, 304. Rays, Fish, 247, 291, 295. Rockingham Bay, 272. Sandy Cape, 256. Ship Aground, 274 to 276, 279. Ship Beached for Repair, 280. Sighted, 237. Smoky Cape, 251. Stevens Port, 250. Thirsty Sound, 264. Tides, Observations on, 267, 268, 312, 324. Timber, 318. Torres Straits, Doubts of Existence of, 301, 302, 306, 314, 335. Townsend, Cape, 263. Tribulation, Cape, 274. Upstart, Cape, 270. Weapons, 320. Weymouth, Cape, 306. Whitsunday Passage, 269. York, Cape, 310. Banks, Mr. 2, 19, 38, 61, 63, 65, 72, 75, 76, 79, 81, 82, 87, 88, 111, 114, 115, 128, 130, 140, 165, 167, 184, 186, 200, 217, 225, 242, 245, 247, 259, 285, 288, 298, 311, 329, 332, 362, 377, 382. Batavia, 353 to 364. Description of, 363. Sickly climate of, 359, 362, 364, 372. Boats, preservation of, 74. Bolabola. Description of, 117. Past, 113. Boobies, 257, 314, 336, 378. Boot topping, 19. Bougainville, 314. His visit to Tahiti, 72, 76, 101, 314, 395. Bow Island, 56. Buchan, Mr., Artist, Death of, 64. Canoes. Australian, 243, 321. New Zealand, 221, 222. Society Islands, 118. Tahiti, 97. 
Voyages in, 119, 121. Cape Colony, Remarks on, 382. Cape Pigeons. See Pintado Bergs. Cape Town, 376, 383. Celery, Wild, 141, 154, 166, 190. Chain Island, 58. Chart Making, Remarks on, 337. Clerk, Master's Mate, 76, 390. Cockles, Tridacna, 284, 295, 306. Cook, Captain. Character, XLV. Death of, 43. Early Life, 13. Survey of Newfoundland, 15. First Voyage, 21. Second, 29. Third, 37. Cook, Mrs., 15, 44. Damage to ship, 280, 281, 284, 353, 359. Danger, ship in, 169, 192, 204, 253, 254, 262, 263, 267, 274, 278, 279, 303, 308, 328, 330. Dipping Needle, 13, 44. Dolphin, HMS, Voyages of, 17. Downs, Return to, 394. Dutch. Regulations for Ships, 351. Home Fleet, 357. Dispute with, 362. Dysentery. Deaths from, 368, 369, 370, 371, 372. Remarks on, 377. Eggbirds, 53. Fleet, Indian, 386. Flogging, 20, 22, 64, 76, 77, 79, 107, 108, 155, 166, 167, 371. Fathering the ship, 276, 277. Fuegian natives, 37. Funchal, 6. Good Hope, Cape of, 375. Gore, Lieutenant, 76, 120, 198, 245, 282, 285, 341. Green, The Astronomer, 31, 35, 68, 76, 131, 150, 305, 316, 354, 368. Hicks, Lieutenant, 20, 69, 76, 85, 145, 160, 240, 244, 304, 349, 350, 354, 356, 388, 389. Horn, Cape, 41. Longitude of, 45. Passage Round, 48. Huahaina. Visited, 109. Description of, 110. Islands, List of, 229. Journal, Copy of, Sent Home, 356, 357. Kangaroos, 280, 281, 287, 291, 294, 318. King George's Island. See Tahiti. Krakatoa, Krakatoa, 349. Lagoon Island, 55. Language of New Zealand and Tahiti identical, 131, 225. Lumaire Strait, 34 to 39. Description of, 42. Directions for, 42. Lightning conductors, 354. Line, crossing the, 13. Local attraction, 264. 
Lunars, Cook's Remarks on, 316. Lunars, 22. Magra, Midshipman, 258, 278. Molina, Mr., Master, 67, 107, 285, 287, 290, 298, 300, 385. Monkhouse, Midshipman, 277, 369. Monkhouse, Surgeon, 59, 64, 109, 359. Mores or Temples, 83, 104, 118. Natal, Coast of, 373. Natives. Sea Tahiti. Sea East Coast of Australia. Sea New Zealand. New Guinea. Coast of, 330, 334. Land in, 333. Weapons, 333. New South Wales. Sea Australia, East Coast. Remarks on, 317. New Zealand. Account of, 214. Admiralty Bay, 213. Animals, 217. Attempt to seize a boy, 137. Banks Peninsula, 197. Brett, Cape, 163. Burial, 224. Camel, Mount, 171, 176, 177. Campbell, Cape, 194. Canoes, 221, 222. Cannibalism, 156, 183, 184, 221. Chart of, Accuracy of, 215. Clothing, 219. Colville, Cape, 158, 161. Cook Strait, 181, 186, 193. Customs of Mourning, 188. Description of, 214. Dusky Bay, 207. Egmont, Mount, 180. Farewell, Cape, 211. First Landing in, 130. Food, 222. Horaki Gulf, 160. Hawks Bay, 137. Hemp or Flax, 217. Hippas, or Paz, 147, 152, 153, 156, 164, 167, 169, 186, 192. Houses, 223. Iron Sand, 156. Islands, Bay of, 165, 169. Jackson, Cape, 214. Kaipara Harbor, 177. Karura Mountain, 193, 196. Left, 213. Massacre or Murderers, Murderers, Bay, 183, 214. Mercury Bay, 148, 155. Middle Island, Description of, 210. Musical Instruments, 224. Native, Name of, 189, 214. Natives, Conflicts with, 131, 135, 136, 146, 147, 148, 151, 163, 164, 165, 166, 182, 187, 221. Description of, 218. Fearlessness of, 139, 221. Notes on, 230. Three captured, 132. Traditions of, 191. Traffic with, 134, 137, 141, 143, 145, 149, 151, 159, 160, 182, 192, 195. 
North, Cape, 173. Palliser, Palliser, Cape, 193, 195. Pat 2 Pat Toes, 154. Places recommended for settling, 218. Plenty, Bay of, 146. Portland Island, 134. Poverty Bay, 130. Produce of, 216. Queen Charlotte Sound, 182, 191. Religion, 224. Ruapuk Island, 203. Runaway, Cape, 145. Saunders, Cape, 201. Sighted, 129. South Cape, 205. Stevens Island, 188, 212. Stewart Island, 205. Tegado Bay, 141. Thames, Frith of, 158, 161. Three Kings, 174. Timber, 159, 217. Talaga Bay, 142. Tools, 223. Traps, 204. Tenegan, Cape, 130, 195. Weapons, 154. Ohitaroa, 120. Ower Harbor, 110. Onrust, the Dutch Dockyard, 354, 356. Odaha, 112. Excursion to, 116. Description of, 117. Odahite. C. Tahiti. Ori, King of Huahaina, 109, 110. Orton, Mr., 258. Osnaburg Island, 58. Oysters, 153, 156, 248, 260, 266, 318. Pacific. Exploration of, 15. Explorers of, 16. Parkinson, Mr., 368. Pomotu Archipelago, 55 to 58. Peeps Island, 33. Perry, Mr., Surgeon's Mate, 359. Pintado Birds, 122. Port Egmont Hens, 129, 200. Poverty Bay, Incidents at, 130. Princes Island, Sunda Strait, 366. Kiros, 213, 226, 301. Rayatea. C. Uliidia. Rays, Fish, 247, 291, 295. Repairs affected, 360. Rio Janeiro. Arrival at, 18. Viceroy of, 19 to 22. Description of, 24. Ragawin, 227. Rot, 340. Rurutu. C. Ohitaroa. St. Helena, 386. Savu, 341 to 347. Scurvy, 16, 17. Concord, 28, Triple X, 36, 46. Prevention against, 24, 59. Seals, 128, 203, 217. Society Islands, description of, 116. Salander, Dyar. 65, 131, 166, 167, 184, 186, 242, 245, 288, 311, 332, 342. Sour Kraut, 59. Southern Continent, 51, 125, 226, 228. Stranding of ship, 169, 274 to 276, 279. Success Bay, 36, 42. Suicide of a Marine, 54. Sumatra Strait, 349, 
366. Swallow, H.M. S. Safety of, 350. Voyage of, 19. Table Bay, 376 to 381, 383, 384. Taha. C. Otaha. Tahiti. Arioi Society, 95. Arrival at, 59. Breadfruit, 84. Canoes, 97. Chastity, want of, 96. Climate, 103. Cloth manufacture, 99. Clothing of natives, 93. Cooking, method of, 79. Dead, disposal of, 65, 81. Description of, 88. Desertion at, 80, 84. Dogs as food, 79. Emblems of peace, 64. Expedition round, 81. Four directed at, 64, 68. Funeral ceremonies, 102. Government, 100. History, notes on, 105. Houses, 96. Images, 83. Leave Island, 87. Manners and Customs, 94. Moris, Morai, or Temples, 83, 101. Music, 94. Natives of. Description of, 91. Rules for Traffic with, 60. Omo or Amo, Chief, 80, 83, 105, 106. Auberier, Queen, 67, 69, 70, 72, 79, 80, 83, 85, 86, 105. Owa, Chief, 60, 63, 66. Priests, 102. Produce of, 89. Religion, 101. Sexes, separation at meals, 91. Tattooing, 93. Thefts at, 62, 63, 68, 73, 75, 78, 82. Tuburatamata, Chief, 62, 65, 69, 71, 73, 77, 85. Tools, 98. Tutaha, Regent, 62, 67, 69, 70, 71, 74, 77, 85, 106. Traffic for Provisions, 60, 87. Tupia, Priest. C. Tupia. Weapons, 99. Wrestling, 71. Tenerife, Peak of, 8. Tenember Islands, 336. Turn. C. Eggbirds. From Cap Island, 56. Tierra del Fuego, Expedition into, 38. Timor, 338. Tutaha, Regent of Tahiti. C. Tahiti. Transit of. Mercury, 150. Venus, 76. Tropic Birds, 53. Tupia. Priest of Tahiti, 102, 105, 109, 112, 131, 132, 136, 182, 187, 242, 286, 349, 354. Death of, 363. Islands known to, 229. Knowledge of, 121. Taken on board, 87. Usefulness of, 363. Turtle, 285, 287, 288, 290, 295, 301, 352. Two Groups Island, 57. Uliidia. Acting and dances at, 114. Description of, 116. Harbor, 111. Apuni, King of, 115. Rotoanwi Harbor, 114. 
Variation, Remarks on, 104. Venereal Disease, 76. Walsh, Cape, 331. Warping, Machine 4, 389. Chart of New Zealand, explored in 1769 and 1770, by Lieutenant J. Cook, commander of His Majesty's Bark Endeavour, engraved by I. Bailey. Reproduction of the original published chart. Printer's Plate. Rest, Pray, Sleep. Elliot Stock, 62, Paternoster Row.